What is up guys? Welcome back to TK's Garage. And the auto theft game has completely changed. If you're a Mopar guy or BMW guy like me, you know, our BMWs don't get stolen as often as the Mopars do, but we've just had a rash of Mopar thefts again. You know, it kind of comes in stages. And today, I'm going to talk about how people are stealing these cars with a food stamp Android phone and a Bluetooth dongle. And that's it. Alright guys, let me see if I can get this thing to actually sit straight. There we go. Maybe. Alright. <laughs> Alright, now, now that we got the camera set up. So, this is an LG Style 06. Um, it is an absolute piece of crap phone that's literally been sitting in my desk. We actually, actually, I actually tried to activate this and give this to a kid uh, that was out in our neighborhood. And uh, they can't even activate it anymore. It was from like Boost Mobile or something. A AKA Food Stamp Mobile. Let me see if it even turns on. It might be that dead. It is. So, the purpose of today's video is to talk about this. So, in case you guys didn't know, most of the key programmers, scan tools, things of that nature, run on top of Android. Okay, we're gonna let this charge for a minute because I actually have the software on this phone. So, now, some software came out, somebody figured out that they could put the same software from like a key programmer, um, which is, you know, like a, it's like a handheld scan tool, basically. You guys have seen them on my channel, I've had them before from Altel, from uh, like the insert company here, a ton of them. Or ones like this, like this is a dongle from Ansel, okay? Um, and I'm giving you guys an example of how this stuff works. You can use dongles like what I use with Beamer Code, which is a, a V-Linker BM Plus. Then they have the um, MHD Wi-Fi uh, flash dongles. I also have that so you can alternate. But uh, both Bluetooth and Wi-Fi work for this method. And why it's dangerous is, you know, they just... Uh, you know, Dodge or FCA or Stellantis just put out this update that said you couldn't reprogram the computer once you had this lock put on it. And if that was the case and you lost keys, you were kind of effed and you had to replace the whole system, right? Which was expensive as shit. And it was a Mickey Mouse way for Stellantis to say, hey, we're trying to stop our cars from getting stolen. And I know as a former Stellantis employee that that was bullshit. So, um... Needless to say, you know, the criminals usually always stay one step ahead of the systems. That's kind of how that shit works. Remember when we all got chips on our credit cards and we thought that was going to be cool? Well, yeah, now they figured out how to copy your chip. So next they'll figure out how to copy your tap to pay. It's, it's literally a never ending cycle and it's kind of just how it is for real, for real. But, um... What we're going to talk about today, because I think it's important, is um, how you can take a simple Android phone like this, an LG Style 06, a little food stamp phone, and a Bluetooth dongle or Wi-Fi dongle, and flash a whole key fob to a car. And it takes less than 65 seconds that's how long it takes to program a friggin key for a bmw now i know you're gonna say okay but we don't really care about the bmw's tk how long does it take them to program a key for a mopar if they know the process and they're down to it and they get into the car and they do it really fast they can literally program a key to your car in less than a minute with an android phone and a bluetooth dongle now what does that mean what it means is there's really not a lot of stuff you can do when you can get the most basic of basic Android phones and the most basic of basic Bluetooth dongles 
and program a key, you're kind of effed. I mean, there's really, outside of a secondary kill switch system, which I'm gonna be talking about one of those that is universal for all vehicles. Um, and it has like a pass through. It actually plugs into your OBD port and hides. Unless they tear your dash apart, they don't know that the OD, OB, ODB port has a pass through on it. So if somebody tries to plug something else into it um, or try to flash a key or something, it's not gonna work until you use this app that comes with the phone to actually unlock your car's um, PCM, ECU, whatever you wanna call it, so that you can actually run and drive the car. Now I know there's a bunch of systems out, but the reason why I like this one um, is it's kind of, it's also kind of dope, right? Now it doesn't do this on all cars, but on some cars like the BMW, and it also does this with the Maserati or any of the FCA cars. Um, if you try to program a key or start the car and you haven't unlocked it with the app, it locks the doors to the car with the person in it. And have you ever seen the movie Saw? And it says, do you want to play a game? <laughs> Hello. Do you want to play a game? So imagine, imagine that coming up over the radio and you're a car thief. Oh, shit. They're out. They're gone. I don't care. They're like, no, I don't want to play a game. I'm out of here. <laughs> I'm out of here. So this is one of the uh, cool things. And I don't know if they're going to keep that name, but it's it's a beta project that they're doing now that they're calling Saw. Now, full disclosure, I did invest in this beta project. So um, I do have money attached to it. I'd be wrong if I don't uh, mention that. Um, but this is something that I kind of, I don't want to say specialize in, but something I like to get into because it helps you, the consumer, and people like me too. I'm a car guy, right? I don't want to come out in the morning and see that my freaking car is stolen after I put all this work and effort and, you know, grind and everything else into the car. We don't want to see that. I, I get it. None of us want to see our shit get stolen. It just, the nature of the beast. Now, for obvious reasons i'm not going to go into the maxwell software or show you guys how this works but basically once this is installed and i didn't even know this i could actually use you know my think diag dongle i think i talked about that in a previous video that actually programs keys too right through its native software and an app in google play now this was an android app or software i had to download because it's not official and it will work with this it works with uh, the V-Linker Bluetooth dongle. It does work with the MHD dongle. It even works with ones that plug in direct with the Ethernet cable that plugs in via USB-C if the phone will support that. Again, cheap food stamp phone right here. Not expensive dongle. Program keys. And the only reason why I say I know it works because it works. It works on the BMW. We've already tested it. It works on Dodges, Mopars, all of that. Now, I'm not going to get into the specific process on how this thing works. This is more of a public service announcement for you now because, you know, now, you know, they would catch people in your apartment complex or your places. And if they had one of these tools with them, you know, they could book them on suspicion of like trying to steal. Why, why are you walking around with a key programmer? Well, now every dumbass kid can have this software on a food stamp phone in their pocket in a friggin' dongle, and that's it. They can literally, and here's the other thing. It also gives them an option in this software. Oh, let me not show you the actual process. Um, it gives you a, a, a ability to plug in the dongle, use the phone, and the they don't even have to have a key fob. And they can start the car with just the phone. Yeah, no key needed. The phone becomes the key fob. Car starts and they drive away with your shit. I, I mean, if there wasn't a better, if there wasn't a time that we need to go old school with some of these ignitions and whatnot, I don't know when, when it would be, man. Cause this right here is crazy. And it's why, it's one of the main reasons why I invested in this company to um, manufacture the you know, I don't know if they're going to continue to call it saw, but it's currently in beta, the saw software, which it's a, you know, a, 
a pass through. Now there's more in depth ways they can do it where they can go piggyback off the ECU and then it works with like kind of like a Bluetooth uh, thing in between the computer and the wiring harness going into the ECU or PCM, right? Like it's a, a pass through outside of the one that's connected to the OBD. So, I mean, let me give you an example. Um, all right, so I just want you to see what I'm talking about. So this is what an OBD pass-through looks like, right? So this plugs into your OBD port like so, right? Boom. And then these wires and stuff would be hidden. They go away. You don't see them. And then you could still plug stuff in here, do diagnostics, the whole thing. Nobody knows this is here. Nobody ever knows that the saw, the controller is hidden somewhere under your dashboard and, you know, hooks into every system in your car. And then if they try to steal your shit, so you want to play a game? <laughs> I think it's the dopest shit ever. That's just me personally. I, I just, I think it's cool. I think it's dope. And, um, you know, I thought it was something I should bring to your attention and something I'm going to demonstrate for you guys here in the very near future. Um, so if you'd like to see a demonstration on how this software works and how we can protect your cars, let me know in the comment section down below. If a food stamp phone and a dongle now scares the shit out of you, it should because any Android phone running Android 10 or above can now be used to steal your car. And there really ain't shit we could do about it. And that sucks. Hello.